two. Yes, we're here again, man. It's the official second recording of the Rabbit Season podcast. My name's Rabbit, by the way. Got Shay Whitey here producing. Producing, and uh, you'll be chiming in here and there, man. Uh, first episode, we had a couple little kinks, but uh, we're getting through them. By the next episode, we'll we'll be good. Uh, we got our first guest, man, and this is dope for me. I've known this dude for a long time. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, he's put in a whole lot of work in the, in the entertainment industry, period. Um, photographer, videographer, director, my buddy, my friend, Mr. Jeff Echo in the building. Yeah. Yes, man. Hey, what's up with you, man? How you been? It's been a, we, we were talking off air, but I didn't realize it, it's been, uh, you know, over a year, probably since the last time you were here. For sure. Uh, but we did run into each other at the Conejo show. I got to host. You were doing some footage and some dope photos that I got to benefit from because you got a couple of me on the stage, which was dope. Uh, but, man, you, you've, you've been mad busy, bro. Um, a lot of crazy things, which we'll get to going on in the world right now. But you've been blessed to uh, still be working and working pretty pretty uh, steadily, right? Yeah, man. It's been it's uh, crazy times we're living in. And uh, I'm blessed that, I've, you know, opportunities have come about. Yeah, yeah. For me to keep busy and working, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, can you go ahead and talk about it? Go. We were talking off air, but uh, uh, some of the things that um, that you've done, it, you know, this year, even though 2020 has been hella rough. Uh, 2020, you've done a lot of work. Can you talk about some of the stuff? That, some of it's about to drop. Some of it, it might have already. But go ahead and talk about that, man. Uh, yeah, I. You know, the beginning of the year, um, I had just come off of a, a movie that was. Um, I was working in Mexico um, with uh, Ron Perlman, um, and then the co- you know the the, the the Corona hit, and it kind of slowed down. So um, I was already gonna take some like some time off. So it, it like I don't know, it, it came at, at a perfect time, um, and then right right into uh, when everything started to get shut down. Like it was like oh shit like what what's going on like, yeah, yeah. N- the phone's not ringing like it's it's dry so um, I started to you know I I just got engulfed myself into the news and I was like man like every day I was watching the news and I got so like into just w- watching what's going on that I was like you know what I'm gonna shut off all social media mm-hmm. and just f- fucking lock myself in get and, creative and get creative yeah. yeah yeah so i started i started to write some shows at the same time i've been helping my, my boy uh produce a um a cartoon animated series on youtube uh we've been developing that and and it's it's been kicking off um i got a chance uh to develop a uh a, a tv show for history for the history channel um as well as working on another script right now that uh again I'm fortunate that somebody was like hey this is a good time are you available to write so uh now yeah, that's got me busy how are they doing it right now um because i know like some new sh- like some of the shows we were watching series and different things have been on hold um obviously because you know to get actors in the same place obviously sometimes can't distance and different things but how how is that working on your end um are are these things able to be released or or is it waiting out? Because I know y- y- things. Yeah, I know s- some things have been waiting out. Marijuana like, uh, yeah. the memory. Uh, a movie that was supposed to be released already got pushed. Um, I was supposed to be on another movie in April, that got pushed until next June. So things are like really drastically getting pushed. And whether if it's they're releasing the the content that we shot, or or if it's getting ready to shoot something. Uh huh. That, that's that's crazy, man. The way the way things are, but. Something interesting that I, I thought that you said is, um, you know, like my brother was saying, like you locked yourself in to get creative. Yeah. And a lot of artists, I mean, it, it's the artistry in them, but it's also like we all have to do something to help keep us at least somewhat sane. Because yeah. if, you, if you do watch the news a little too much, I mean, that should make you, you just cuckoo. Get, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But no, but it, it really helped me to... Uh, you know, get creative, not only in, in my world and what I'm in my art, you know, quote unquote, 
but it, with my family like you know like i really took control into like my my son you know and, and my daughter like they get homeschooled because of all this right yeah so like i really devoted the time to like be there for my son and wa- and and watch him you know learn and and help out and do it you know like w- which is another topic that's just crazy you, know? you gotta oh, go yeah. on the yeah. zoom meetings doing. and stuff like man that, that dude uh, uh, Luckily, my <laughs> my, oh, luckily my lady's been handling all that. <laughs> so, yeah, but well, I've been still, you know, fortunate to to get back to my regular job. Like, yeah, um, even though it's not completely full time, like we're back somewhat. Yeah. So I've been, you know, busy. So she's been handling all that. But That's it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, um, you, you if, man, you, you, you start to get a new. Uh, sense of respect also for what teachers go through, right? Yeah, for sure. Shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, man, big ups to all the teachers. Yeah, because now, now oh, they got to deal with, like, people jumping into their, like, people, uh, like, I heard that people were hacking into those meetings, like, disrupting people's classes. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, People that didn't even belong there and stuff like that. For or, sure. Or people just uh, lighting up, like, a joint in, in their meeting, their, you know, high school kids just lighting up right there while they're in the thing. Just That's stuff crazy. Stuff like that, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's man. a crazy world we're living yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you see a shoe fly and hit him in the fucking back <laughs> of the head when his mom catches him. Hey, but, but yeah, that, it, it, you know, a new respect for, for the teachers and everything they're, sure. they're doing. Hey, um, you mentioned the, the, uh, the history channel thing that you were developing. Mm-hmm. Is that the one we were just talking about? Right. Okay. Let's speak on it. Cause it came out, but that's pretty dope. Let, first let's start because I've not got a chance to do this, but we have a couple of things that we, we kind of, it's not full script. We have little ideas here and there, but how does that start? Like, they they hit you up for that um and then how do you, how does it go do you guys have a meeting like to go to the next step and like this is what we're developing and then everybody kind of throws their ideas and can you talk me through that process because i've never been in one of those meetings and i just want to pretend i have yeah for sure um <laughs> so um i've gotten the opportunity to actually go to a, a few of the meetings where you get to meet some of the executives um it it's um uh, it's actually been a little bit more beneficial for me for for me to just get hired outside, right? So um, usually there is a group of writers or a group of producers or whoever is going to put a show together, right? And they're going in hire people and say, "Hey, we need to we need to do this and this and this and this. Are you can you do this?" And here's the fee, right? So um, usually when they're when somebody is in full development of, of doing a show like that. They have their outside contacts, which I'm that's where I'm from. And then you have the developers that have to that have to present it to whatever channel they're working with, whether if it's the history or discovery or, you know, uh, Fox, whoever it is, you know. So and then from there, the producers over at whatever network they're at, they say, all right, we like it. This is what we we want to change. We do, you know, whatever it is. It's like presenting a treatment to an artist. And and because they, you know, they got to say at the end of the day because they're paying for it, right? You know, right. The producers. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. their show, and they're, yeah. they're going to want to put their hands in it. So, yeah. um, and then after that, once all that development is done, and they know who they're gonna, you know, who they're gonna work with, who they're casting, whatever it is, then they. Uh, then they go into production. And when you say the development, like how deep does that go? Like, like you have to have like a full script, like the whole thing ready, or just kind of the concept. Um, so there's, I've been involved in a couple of different ones. Um, there's, there's some where you not only have like a whole treatment and a lookbook and uh, and mood boards, but they have all sorts of um, like pages and pages and pages of description on how they want certain things to be done shot lit and it's daily that they hand you the, these books mm-hmm. uh there's the, you know they shoot these shooting books for you to shoot yeah. and then you have ones that are just like all right give us a, a mood board give us a lookbook a treatment mm-hmm. a one-page treatment and then once it gets picked up then they worry about writing whole oh episodes. yeah because you get mm-hmm. the the gist of it right right yeah the, the executives yeah. don't want to read all that shit you know? yeah that's right yeah <laughs> they hey, hire the guys that write you know? here before my next question here <laughs> there we go that's part of the show by the way no, but listen, um, i wanted to ask you be- before we kind of talk i do want to uh, you could talk a little bit about that because i f- it's really interesting but I, but i did wanted to ask before that um has there ever been a situation when you went to present something and then the powers that be maybe added some stuff that just changed the whole 
scenario of it where you actually maybe even turned down? Is it has that come about for you ever, or were you able to work those differences out? Mm. Because I know you know sometimes even you know music artists too like. Um, once somebody else gets their hands on it, they start to change what the original feel of it yeah. was, kind of, I guess you could say. And I, I feel it's the same in it, any entertainment, basically, because there's a mood you're cri- you're trying to create. Um, is there, it, has that been an issue for you, or you've been fortunate? It, it actually, no, it actually has been an issue a few times. Uh-huh. Um, I I made this movie um, f- four years ago, five years ago now. Uh-huh. It was a full feature, and. Um, you were now when you say you made it, you were the director. I was or a the director. Writer? Okay, I was a director. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was you know like when we shot it, we had a you know I had a vision, my team had a vision and what we wanted to do, and then they put it out. They completely took my cut of the movie, which only five people have ever seen the original cut, um, and then they they released their own, and Man. they fucking destroyed it. And I was like what yeah, yeah. happened uh-huh. and they just completely butchered it so that's that's one scenario you know what what and, and with your name still on it yeah well i mean i was a the director there. yeah that, at mean, that point i couldn't do anything oh, because okay. they were the no because that you know? that's the fucked up part right yeah. there like damn like, so i didn't I, put this out you never know? again would i do that <laughs> mistake though yeah yeah for sure. hey, just read real, your contracts read your contracts real quick, learn man read your contracts yeah <laughs> hey real quick before it goes to the next question um can you just rewind real quick at the beginning you said you were working with Ron Perlman, like it was normal, but like, like tell people who that is in case they don't know who that is. You know, oh, Ron that's, Perlman, uh, you know. Hellboy. Yeah, Hellboy, Sons yeah, of yeah, Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Or oh, yeah, Beauty yeah. and the Beast. Remember that old, that show yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day? Yeah, 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 yeah that's sure. Yeah, if people don't, just in case they didn't know, he yeah. said it all casually. Yeah, I was just over there working with uh, Ron Perlman. You know, just <laughs> chilling with him. <laughs> that guy <laughs> has a. Uh, yeah, he was the one in Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. My yeah. mom used to love that show back in the day when yeah, we were. Yeah, I remember yeah. that was out when I was a kid. She used to love that show. Yeah, because my my stepdad looks like a beast, and like my yeah. <laughs> that guy Ron Perlman, he he has a face like it. It looks like if you punched him in the jaw, you'd for sure break your hand. That yeah, guy, the, that the, guy has a big jaw. And dog. the way the way he talks too, uh, like especially when he's doing lines, like I, I being on set with him, and he'll be just and it just works. Yeah, like what, what do you, you know? It doesn't matter what he said at that point. You know, yeah. he just looked dope. Yeah, and you know uh, <laughs> who else is like that? That talks so casual. And is uh, what's that dude? Jeff Goldblum. Uh, is that his name? Oh uh, yeah. Oh Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. yeah. Jeff I, Goldblum. I, I d- I'm not a fan of his work, but like the way he's in movies, uh, and he's just like kind of. Yeah. It's very witty. It's it's smart, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, or Christopher pretty, Walken. Oh yeah, yeah. The way his tone of voice is and all that. Yeah. Christopher uh, Walken. Hey, so what? What I wanted to get back to now. That that was interesting, bro. For real. Um, what I wanted to get back to. So this show on uh, history channel uh explain it to us bro this is dope i know you can't give too much away but you can talk about the concept slightly right yeah it's uh it's basically it's a it's it's a game show Uh that we're developing uh for history channel uh and two two teams just going against each other okay so that's dope man And, and that's the part there's more to you you guys stay tuned because that's the interesting part from what I know. And I don't know much because he can't tell me either. So just so you <laughs> guys know, man. Hey, so um, you've been, you know, obviously uh, lucky and blessed to be busy. Um, you, you've you pretty much, th- this is where I wanted to kind of rewind and then come back forward. Sure. Um, you, you Did you originally start like just with photos? Is that how it started? Yeah, I... Uh I got a camera through. I was going to film school, and that's I, right. And I got a camera. Well, yeah, I got a camera, and then uh, I just started shooting, and uh-huh. it went from photos. And then I figured out that the, you know, I can work with the camera with video, and I got my first chance to. Um, <sighs> this group, this this guy, Charlie Rowe, Chino Grande. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was uh, I was working on a movie because before before I even went to film school, I was already working in the industry. My godfather, uh, Bill Davis, he uh, he's a 35-year movie vet. Uh, he's a big gun guy, like an armorer. He's taught all everybody, bro. Like he owns the John Wayne, uh, no, I'm sorry, the Clint Eastwood uh, revolver. You know, like he's. So I used to do. I used to be his assistant. Like I. I That's fucking dope. I interned for him for five years, and then uh-huh. he started bringing me on set, and I got to work on a lot of shit with him, and. Um, 
Then I joined the army after that, you know, mm. did my little stretch, got out, went to film school. And then I was like, oh, what am I going to do with this thing? So what, what was it that inspired you to go to film school? Was it like, were you always a big movie? Uh, no, nah, I didn't. I never even thought about going to film school. Oh, bro. Really? Like my, my homie had just graduated from which a Marine. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, he had just gra- graduated from the art Institute and those guys are crooks. Don't ever fucking. Oh, work. okay. Yeah, <laughs> fuck those guys. Um, Note to self. He had just I graduated, see. and he was like, "Hey, man, they they got this new program coming out. It's for film. You know, you've always done film. Go check it out." Mm. And he was like, "And you got your GI Bill?" And I was like, "All right, fuck it, let's go." You know, I I was never really a school guy. I used, to, um, uh, I went to Mopar College, and then I went to see some for a little bit, and I was studying something completely different, uh, besides film. So like, I really didn't want to go to school. But uh, the film school kind of interested me, and I was like, "All right, fuck it, let's go," and that's what got me into, you know, in that. But nah, don't go to film school. But but what about like, uh, but as far as like just movies and entertainment, was there something too that made you kind of like look at it and go, "Oh, I want to like help like make something like that," or like? Yeah, because I was already like I said, I was already working in the industry. I was like, "Well, if I'm gonna learn, yeah. let me learn how to be behind the camera," mm-hmm. and then you know, Chino Grande hit me up and said uh, I was working with him on a movie. Um, and in this movie, Operation Repo, I don't know, if, do you remember the TV show? Oh, oh yeah. Operation yeah, Repo? Y- yes, yes, oh, okay. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we put him in that, <laughs> and uh, like a month later, he hits me off, hey, can you do this video? Can we do it? And I was like, all right, that's dope. <laughs> and um, the video never happened, but I did, I met Midget, which, mm-hmm. you know, they were Midget homies. Loco, that's Midget Loco, that's the Midget Loco, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. That's the homie, Shout man. Shout out to Midget. Hell yeah, that's the homie, bro. Um, and yeah, he uh, he hit me up and he's like, can you do this video? Summer summer High? Uh-huh. Summer High. Uh-huh. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, what year was that? High. Do you remember what year that was? Fuck, uh, 2011? Let's yeah, I, I think so because I kind of remember. Yes, because it, we played it on this show. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, on the, I'm dope, sorry, bro. not this, or the B-side show. That was so show. long ago, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like when it had come out, but we were already homies with them too. Cause I'm me doing music at the time. And right. All, all those guys were cool as fuck with me, but that's crazy, bro. That shit. Yeah. And, and you know what? The thing about it is it was kind of like, um, nine years ago, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, yeah. See, I, I do remember it. Cause that's man, I, like, that dude's the homie. And I, 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 hey, what about, remember the time, uh, real quick about when we were in the Charlie Row co- that video. Uh, remember we were actors. I, I, I played a, a guy going to buy crack from the, the Cholos. <laughs> they saw yeah, I guess I looked it, apart. I don't yeah, know. He, and looked, then, like, <laughs> he was skinny. And he, looked like he was the yeah. whitest guy was, there. Yeah, the that whitest did. guy. And yeah. I had my Asian homie with me. So me and him walked up. He had a, he was carrying a skateboard. We walked up like I'm like looking through my pockets like like you know just you know i, I thought That's i played funny. acted and, pretty good and then <laughs> I, I i played the guy like i'm in the video and then i get sh- like i apparently get shot at the end and they're pulling me and it's it was it was crazy but i got to be on like a, a bunch of different videos too and a couple i made my uh my debut in the the, the homie alex magana put this uh well he directed this movie uh what's that the lazy this uh lazy dub and uh and they they put because they wanted to film a scene here and he's like dude can you do this part we don't have someone to do this it was something just stupid just clowning but it was like it was crazy jeff is that that little shit that i was in and i'm at the beginning and i get arrested by the cops like right away and like uh, my part is fucking you know but i got so many fucking texts and phone calls and on social media like like i'm legit like a lot like how the fuck and i and i'm going how the fuck did you see that movie? But it's crazy, like how people get a oh, hold of right stuff, enough. dude. Yeah. yeah, dude, I heard it, it was a like lot. on what was it like an Amazon Prime? Or it was something, on one or of those, and then it was on something streaming. else. Yeah. Somebody told me, and then, but a lot of people, even people I like went to high school with back in the day. Oh, this dude's on a like what the fuck, <laughs> dude? It's crazy. <laughs> hey, uh, let me let me get back to uh, that's a, Hey, that's enough about me. Hey, but li- listen, <laughs> um, something about your work, Jeff, because I I've seen it for you know a decade now at least oh, and it's that been thing that long yeah yes crazy. but from photography to videography to the stuff you've done there's something um see that's like when you mentioned film school and it had a negative effect like on you i mean i'm sure you learned a couple things but most oh, of it sure, yeah. most of it was probably you know you being creative and you would have you would have figured it out anyways put it that yeah. way so what I was going to say is there is something obviously that works a little different with you because 
your concepts are always like one of the things for sure on like music videos, even photos, bro, that I've noticed is you're not trying to do what their last shit look like. Like mm -hmm. you're going a different route and it, and it might be way different just to establish that part, but then it always works, bro. And that's, what's crazy is even with the photos, like I know, like sometimes you'll do like a, like a, it gives it like a vintage look or something that just, might be appropriate for that time where they might have just done a super colorful one before that but it's just crazy bro like i remember seeing like a lot of reverie shots and i remember you did it i think you did a shoot with reverie mm -hmm. and then those photos they just had her in a whole different way she was like a rap rapper and at the even more at the, so at the beginning she was kind of like you know a little more hardcore like yeah, yeah, i yeah. mean you know definitely her her artistry has grown um since then but what the photos they put her in her like a different light like she was well young. that was the idea because I, I mean yeah when, when you when you say reverie you think rapper yeah, artist, yeah. right? but i wanted to shoot her as she was just like a fashion model yeah you know? and that and it and it was dope because even people were like oh shit like look at reverie you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. You, you just added a different dimension for the outside casual fan or even a hardcore fan to look at and see her in almost a different light and that's the beauty of what you capture. And I guess what I'm getting at is like, I know personally a lot of photographers, videographer, people do videos and different things. And, um, you're someone that they admire, like other oh, photographers and videographers admire your work. That's dope. So that right there is kind of one of the big, I mean, besides like pay my, give me some money, pay me for this shit. But that has to be a reward in itself to, um, effect, peers like that are doing what you do but they look up to what you do you yeah get, that's you get what i'm dope saying because i mean yeah. i i have my you know the people that i look yeah, up to yeah. too you know and yeah. the people that i saw and i was like i want to shoot just like that like, yeah. like who yeah. like can you can you say like kind of the people it, that you wanted to shoot like any directors like uh, that we wouldn't probably guess um i mean like hype williams was i used to watch a lot of hype williams back in the day he had um, his videos were were they always stood out at yeah, the back yeah. Of, yeah, yeah yeah uh colin tilly is another guy you know his videos really standing out um uh, matt alonzo of course you know that dude's he he's the one who did work with like cube and all them right yeah and yeah, matt, yeah. Alon he's, yeah, matt alonzo's yeah. done a lot yeah um you know even black diamonds but you know they, they were putting it pumping out work so that's like from from the time i was like in the military to when i was going when i got out those are the videos that were getting pumped in so mm -hmm. You know, like the, all the game videos, those were sick back then, you know? So uh, so, so the, the other thing with that is that you're always willing to, like, go the extra to capture what you're, what you're visioning, I guess you could say. So, like, you're not afraid to go out and, you know, whether it's renting or even going and buying. But, like, if you need some big dog piece of equipment for a certain thing that you have in your mind, like, you're, you ain't afraid to go get it. Like, you go out and get that piece because you know what you you're gonna see through it right yeah because you i mean if you see something and you're able like let's just say if i want a red impala why you know figure out a way how to get the red impala yeah you know yeah. or whatever it is yeah. you know I, I want a a big helium light to to light this entire street okay uh, well how much is it going to cost where can i get it and hook, uh, hook me up give me a deal uh, yeah. i'm gonna get it for you for a week whatever the case is you know but uh yeah, like it's dope to work by yourself and it's dope to like th that that was one thing that that I really didn't like doing was the videography of things because if you're a videographer, you're expected to come in, you you're a cameraman and shoot whatever I tell you. Right? Mm -hmm. Um I want to be able to create from start to finish. Uh -huh. This is my art piece as well. Mm -hmm. I want to make you look good as well yes. as I want to make myself look good. So and if that direct. means yeah and if that means i need to hire 10 people mm -hmm. to make this vision a reality I'm, I'm gonna hire 10 people um or 20 or 30 or whatever you know like so far the biggest crew that i've that i've hired is uh 67 people i think was Ooh. the largest crew that i've hired you know that's freaking dope yeah, you know what i'm saying what does that include like makeup artists and stuff everything like that? makeup uh, stunts like, like everything you know hey, if you need stuntmen uh, I'm, I'm down to jump <laughs> off a ladder you. or yeah, something yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> but, th but those are the perks of like <laughs> being in that type of business because i get to hire my homies i get to hire my friends i get to you know so may maybe i uh I, I fucked myself because at the end of the day 
I get a budget and then maybe I didn't make any money, but I taught myself how to be a filmmaker. And, th and I think that's the most important. And then the piece, um, if it comes out to your vision, um, it, it makes enough noise to where that, um, that balances out the money you might not have made it. And yeah, for because sure. you get that recognition, you get more work off of that. You for get, sure. You it, it's an investment. Yeah, I've been exactly. investing. Yeah. Exactly. I've been investing in myself, yeah. uh, you know, Hey, and you got to invest I, in myself and, and in my friends because, yeah. you know, I, a lot of people that have, that have come and worked for me or work for us or we've worked together or, or you know, are doing big things, too. You know, hey, I've seen Shay take some falls where he bends the wrong way and he fucking <laughs> body contorts and he looks like he takes a hard spill. And then he just gets right yeah. back. Yeah, up. I'm pretty agile sometimes. Especially yeah. when he when he's. <laughs> <in the drunk>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but listen, man, um, that part is like what. What, where I was going with like s certain uh, you know uh, directors, filmmakers, different photographers, they see your work and they look up to it, and uh, and then you get calls that sometimes you might not expect. Like, I, can you explain to me the one where you got to go and actually you were the main camera for that uh, the nip rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle man. R.I.P. Uh, the ni the Nipsey Hustle video that that you guys did. That was like that song popped, but then the video pop made it pop more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that I mean, the vision was all to the director. You know, uh huh. Uh, Sergio, you didn't direct that one. No, but no. you were the like. So I, I've transitioned from directing to just being the the, the cinematographer, okay. the, the director of photography. You know? Oh, okay, yeah. So like the DP, mm -hmm. you know, like, um what you know like uh, i take care of all the cameras and i give you you know like i for me i, I felt like this is where where i want to be this is what i want to do and i'm having fun and i'm not directing yeah <laughs> you know yeah. i'd rather work with directors than for me to be the top dog i guess you so know? so that's a uh, it's directing's safe. a lot of it's a lot of pressure i was just gonna say it's safe to say that's a a few notches down on the stress level for you yeah, you, for sure. You get to go. Yeah, because I get to have fun. I get to create. Yeah, you you're know? still creating. I'm still creating. Yeah, you know, but you don't got to deal with all these motherfuckers going. Eh, no. What about that? I'm high. Give me some food, and you don't yeah. got to deal with all that. What shit. about uh, so as director of photography? So do you do you actually have to um, direct? Uh, you're just taking care of the, just the cameras themselves, or the ac other photographers that are you telling them where to go and where to film? Yeah. So if you have multiple cameras, you manage those cameras. So a, you tell B, them, C, hey, you, you know? go here, you go. Right. Uh, uh, okay. You know the shots. You control the shots. Um, you know, uh, usually uh, I'm an operator DP, so usually a camera, I, I there's a camera on my shoulders and I give you the look, I give you the vision, I give you whatever you want. As a director, I give you whatever you want, whatever shot you want, you know, and it's going to look dope. Uh, he's probably and laughing lighting, at us. You, you know, you control the lighting, you yeah, know, yeah. all of that. The vision, the mood uh, is what a DP does, you know. He's probably laughing at us setting up here. I mean, all these guys don't know what the hell they're doing. Nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> these fucking guys are at 10 years and they're still confused. <laughs> no. Nah. Uh, fucking shit. Hey, hey marijuana. Oh, never mind. <laughs> marijuana hey, man, but um, that, no, that's pretty dope, man, because, um, you know, unfortunately, that dude passed too soon. Yeah. But it sucks. Like, he still was able to leave like this this legacy with people that that appreciated what he was doing because like the the fact like for me personally like i respect immensely that he went back to where he came from and bought property there and developed business there and that's sure. some, that's something see there's two sides of the coins coin to that some people just you know they make their check they they make they make what you know i guess to get them to the next level and then they just want to get as far the fuck away from there as they can but homie went back and reinvested in that area yeah. to, to make and, and to sh not only to set an example for for other people but um it was it was even bigger than that though because what he was doing is um uh, you know the gentrification thing dude he was basically like saying this is where we're from why can't we own the businesses For here sure. why can't we make the money and the and the the revenue from our own city and yep. and do and, and do it legit and bro i got mad respect for that bro like that that shit you know he, he was younger than me but like i caught a couple of jewels from that dude you know what i mean yeah, just for on sure. that level you know what i mean for sure so um anyways uh jeff um you you kind of talked about um you know the service too and i 
and I wanted to say uh, salute to you salute. for that, thank bro. You, thank you. Um, respect for for you know doing that for the country and everything. And there's a lot of crazy shit going on right now, and it's different things are happening, different mandates, like things that we didn't know that they could do, and they're really not supposed to. They're finding little loopholes to do certain things. But yeah. I, I was ki- like we kind of briefly touched on it earlier, but I I wanted to ask your opinion on um you know sometimes and they see these are most of the time peaceful peaceful protests on what's going on which is one of our amendment rights you know peacefully is is fine we we can voice our opinions and freedom of speech and and all that stuff um but these the way they're these things are going with these these people that are coming out uh, federal i guess agents they call them or whatever um basically like servicemen and women unidentified and they're like going in and kind of infiltrating the city and what's happening though it well from what i see and like because i've been doing all my own research too do i like to educate myself and For not sure. yeah, you got to. listen to people on social media because that will fuck my whole head up but um you know I, it seems that they're um escalating the the madness a little bit by doing that and then second of all, these are most likely, and then you, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these servicemen and women, um, probably that's not their first choice to go do is defend some, I mean, to, you know, basically fight off some people that are just, you know, exercising their amendment right mm-hmm. uh, to peacefully protest. Um, what What is your opinion on that, you know, being an ex-military man and... Um, them putting them in that situation or you know what what do you think about that because it i mean it's just crazy right now bro first we got to understand one thing Mm -hmm. this has been happening okay okay this has been happening for you know since obama Mm -hmm. bush you know and it's finally coming about that maybe we should have been paying a little bit more attention. And I, and I think that's the key right there. I'll yeah. let you continue, but I think that people are finally right. feeling it's important enough to For pay sure. attention. Yes. Take the time and yes. read the Constitution. Yes. Okay. Whether, whoever you are, mm-hmm. read the Constitution. It, it may be boring, but it is important for you to know the country that you live in. We're not in anywhere else, right? We're living here in, in America. Mm-hmm. You're American. So read your rights, mm-hmm. first and foremost. Yeah. Then start looking at how much these politicians have been fucking the Constitution over. Oh, fuck. For, yeah. oh shit. And it's all for either themselves, for a financial gain, whatever the fuck. Look at Halliburton. Look at everything, you know, like this whole, you know, whatever it is. Just look at that. Uh-huh. Then now you look at what's going on now, now with the protests. Okay, it's the same shit mm-hmm. that happened during Ronnie King, right? Oh yeah, they, the they, that was when they actually brought the tanks in. Uh, they brought yeah. a couple of tanks in, right? Yeah, yeah. And protest—that mm-hmm. is our right. Let's go protest. Let's show. Let, let's show and let let us be heard, right? Mm-hmm. But at one point, as us Americans, after reading the Constitution and knowing our rights, when is it? time for us to be like you know what fuck this Mm -hmm. obviously what we're showing you or what we're telling you is not working so we're gonna burn this fucking building down Mm -hmm. until you listen yeah right yes oh now we got your attention now that i have your attention this is what we we've been talking about right now you look at the other side of things whether you're a federal agent or a u.s army soldier Mm -hmm. right you swore to defend Foreign and domestic. Okay. So that's you work for the biggest employer of the United States, which is the DOD. That's your boss. Mm -hmm. If they tell you, go fuck those dudes up because they're burning our building down and make sure they don't burn it down. What do you think they're going to go do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they got homes. They're paying. They got bills to pay, too. Now, it's fucked up. It's fucked up what's going on. But at what point? The ultimate question is, at what point do people, whether on what side it is, figure out, wait a minute, we need to stop fighting ourselves and we need to fight 
the people that are telling us to go do, fuck each other up. The yeah. oppressors, right. man, basically. Hey, because, you're right. Sir. Because you know what? At the end of the day, these politicians are living nice and comfortably, oh, yeah. and they sleep in a warm bed, mm-hmm. while millions of fucking people are yeah. out of work, yeah. living in the streets, worrying about where am I gonna where am I gonna get my next paycheck to either feed my kids, to feed myself, feed my family, yeah, yeah. or where am I gonna, you know, whatever it is. And and the thing is, is that I- exactly that, like when you take that oath to join the military, you're defending basically to defend the Constitution, right. basically, as it's, you know, even though they do start. They're everything is these, so blurred. Yeah. That yeah. They, I, 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 everything's so blurred that at one point it's like, who do we believe? We obviously can't believe the news because they're just feeding us what they want so they can sell advertising dollars. Right. Or do we believe this dude that's on the internet exposing shit or whatever the fucking case is. Yeah, yeah. But they're but they're telling us that he's a liar. They hear you know like yeah, yeah. That's what we were just talking about that last week, like the last show. And and real quick, like just what to go back what you were saying is exactly right. And the thing is, um, like all this stuff that's happening, this is exactly how like this country came to be in the first place because that's what was happening to the people that came over here from 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 uh, the United from England. The 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 the, the people in England were. We're, we're doing the same thing to the people here. They're right. like, if you're going to be over here making money, you better give, you know, give us the money, even though they're not getting anything out of it. And, yeah. and, and they basically overthrew that government. And that's why in the Constitution, there is something in there about overthrowing the government when they overstep. There is something in there about it. And the people, like you said, if they read it, like, you know, how people talk about revolution, like, like, dude, like it, this seems like the closest that's, that's to ever happening now. It yep. seems to me like. And, wh- and, you know, the thing is, and then with. Good point, Shay. And then with military, too, um, I know um, you're supposed to remain apolitical. Like, you're not supposed to, you don't try to feel either side, bro. You're there to do yeah. a job and, and and defend the Constitution, like I said, and, and that's your job. So you you can't buy into this guy's doing this and this guy's doing yeah, that. The thing right? is, you know we don't I mean? have bad people. Yeah. We have bad leaders. Uh-huh. Yeah, you exactly. I always say that. Yeah, good point. Right you there. know, it's, it's what are you being taught? Mm-hmm. that's making you do this yeah you yeah. know just you know the same as you know where that all ties in some somewhat is the racism issue people are not born that way they're you know it's taught and ho- hopefully you know this could it could start to dissipate a little as you know because you you were even seeing when all this was at its peak and stuff that um like you'll see little videos here and there and like it would be a kid kind of schooling their parent on their parents' thoughts. Yeah, I've seen that video. And, and it's yeah. like, yeah, because kids are smart enough to develop their own, you Well, know. because they're exposed to a lot more. Yeah, yeah, You know, like, yeah. we didn't have Instagram, yeah, Facebook, yeah. YouTube, Twitter, You couldn't go shit. on and, and research no. somebody doing a speech or whatever, mm-hmm. like, and now you can. It's dope. It's yeah. crazy how, like, the, like, nowadays kids watch other kids play with their, with toys on YouTube instead of playing with the toys themselves. For sure. Uh, <laughs> you noticed that? Yeah. So crazy, Pretty bro. Crazy. When I, my stepson, dude, he's watches like other people playing video games and i'm like what like i i don't get it but okay yeah. dude like i guess they're like good at it or something so you gotta, i don't i don't know bro hey um you know going back to um uh the protests and stuff you also got a chance uh to document you know uh some of the the goings on and um is there anything you that people might know that you saw straight forward being right there at you know, on the front line, taking the pictures and the videos. And um, yeah, man. I mean, people are angry. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, when, when the first time I went out to go shoot, um, you know, like at first, you know, like the type, the, the way that I shoot, like, especially stuff like that, because I like to document stuff, you know, like I wanted to be as real as possible. Like if I take a picture and you're and I'm at the event, I want you to feel like you're there. Um, so like as as. As I'm wa- like I'm walking with them, like I wanted to walk with them first and see what's up, right? Um, and uh, I I started to notice like I didn't want to like I saw you know like I saw some shit you know but the thing is like I didn't want to document the destruction. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. And and it wasn't for like getting people in trouble or anything like that. And no, I fuck that you know like I wanted to document people's anger, people's frustration, people's emotion. So, like, if you look at the pictures that I took, like, it's it's all about the signs, the pictures, even the cops, you know, like some of the cops, you can tell they, they didn't want to be. there. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen you it, know, and the shit that I've been researching. You could tell these guys 
they just don't they don't want to be there they don't want to be there and they're, they're, put, put, and they're, put, they're put in a bad situation they're put in a bad situation and maybe some do want to be there and they want to go fuck some shit up yeah <laughs> but it's it's a sport at the end of the day you know being in that type of job it's like you know you're trained to get be aggressive get your time, adrenaline you know? pumped up yeah uh, the I mean, problem is they, they sometimes i think i feel like they need to do a better job of uh what is it vetting people's personalities like because you know there's people that are they're in there like hey man i got the power now like maybe like growing up in high school maybe you know they maybe they, oh, you know, they got sure. bullied or whatever so hey i got the power i'm gonna do whatever i want i'm gonna get back everybody now like i you know and it's like some i just feel like sometimes they just i think it was you know, uh Bill Maher, I can't. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but one of those guys on their thing, when he was being dead serious and he wasn't trying to be funny, and he was saying, basically, um, that they need to do more than just a, a background check on these guys. They need to. What they need to do is go where they went to junior high and high school and see. He literally said something about, uh, you know, don't quote me exactly, but it, you know how many times these guys have been stuffed, their heads been stuffed in lockers and. You know, basically that, because it's like that's these people that may have gotten, you know, taken advantage of in school and treated wrong. And now they're on the the, the power side now. Right. And so they now on um, the less fortunate, they can inflict, you know, pain back. And it's, sure. like, it's, it's all a, like a, a psychological thing, bro. But the, the other thing, interesting, real quick, what I was going to get to is that, you know, um, in other countries, the, to become an officer takes way longer and even here something interest like I think it takes more hours of training to become a barber than a police officer like there's different that I think they need to change that and and again like I forgot what country it was but one of the main things they 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 focus on is like de-escalation and uh you know what I'm saying and like uh to avoid using your gun and I think we've gotten to here where their first in instinct is that they feel a little bit scared or whatever is just pull out your gun and start blasting. And that's, you know, as taxpayers too, like I'm, I'm a good person, man. I ain't out there robbing yeah. nobody's houses, bro. And I, but my taxes are going to motherfuckers just pulling guns on cats and just shooting yeah, them, bro. But it's that's crazy, the, Yeah, but that's the uh, shoe first, ask questions later mentality. You that's know what, what I'm saying, saying though. That's it, what yeah, needs yeah. to go away, bro. It, it does, but... Um, it also needs to start from the top mm, yep. because Again, if you look at it, yep. if you look at it, it's all a business. Mm -hmm. OK, now look at it this way. If you have I'm just I and mean, I'm doing the numbers low just so that we can, uh, you know, understand it. If you have 50 cops on shift, right, that, that number is probably not realistic. I don't know if you have 50 cops on shift, but you need 100 cops to be on shift in a certain area. Right. As a business, now you have to pay these cops double mm -hmm. of what they're because they're gonna, you know, they're gonna get some golden time, right? Um, now, as a business, you're like, fuck, I need, we need to hire more cops, or you know, because we're we're going broke at this time. The city is going broke because we're paying too much money in overtime, so we need to hire cops fast. So, what is the quickest way that we can get people in to join, become cops, and get them out on the streets because that's what we need, right? Um, it's the same thing with the military. When we had the surge, you know, when we went in, I went in in, in 04. They were picking up anybody that wanted to join. Get in here. Come and serve your country. Go fucking shoot some Iraqis. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. But now, uh, but and then after when I got out, man. It, so from the uh, when I was in, the, the top age was 42, I think. I think they raised it up. Well, well, like a year after I got out, they lowered it back down to 35. So it's what, what we really need to go back and is look at society. We've been really fucking each other up because we've been uh, we've been worked into choosing a team, choosing somebody instead of just choosing humanity and being like, you yeah, know what? At the end yeah, of the day, exactly. we're all people. Um, and instead of worrying about giving people extra training and all that, we need to look at at everything as a whole. There are some bad people out there. That want to fucking kill cops. If I'm a cop, I would hate being a cop, especially LAPD, because they're the most hated police officer in the country. So, let alone you're gonna go be a cop, you have some, I did, you got some balls, well, because you're hated, right? Uh, it's like, play, that, it's like playing the, for the Raiders. But that's the thing, too. <laughs> that, yeah, or being a fan <laughs> of the Raiders, <laughs> or that, or, or Cowboys. My bad. Hey, that's <laughs> the thing, too, though. Is that is. I guess kind of more to my no point offense, is, is you you get 
you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Right. So you, if knowing that uh, about the LAPD, you should think once, twice. Some people don't. Three though. times. I'm telling you, some people and don't. And then think about like, yeah. Some people just want to serve and, and fucking pay their bills. Yeah. You know. Maybe and, get into college or something. Ask whatever. Yeah. The same thing with the military. You yeah. know how many dudes I knew that just joined just to get that college money? They're like, yeah. ah, I'm gonna go be an X-ray tech. Yeah. Uh, you know. But yeah. it's it's kinda, but it's kind of like being like a. Uh, to me though it's like being a a cliff diver or a fucking a guy who cuts redwood trees down like yeah. you you're like your job that you're picking has a much higher uh danger zone than for that sure. other job so that that's my point i guess it is maybe prepare yourself a little more for that more for that if that's what you're going for yeah. you know what i'm saying I, like in other words like i guess to my point is like don't if if you want to be a cop, knowing these things happen, don't every time someone yells at you like or raises their voice, pull out your gun and shoot them type. But yeah. you get what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah, of course. I hope they can take away that little sense of because, yeah, they're the, most of the time they're not held accountable. Yeah, and they're, so they're not. So they do have that. Look at Rampart. Yeah. You oh, know, fuck. Like, I know. Have you ever watched The Shield? Oh, uh, I, I didn't. I've seen a couple of episodes. Oh, but I, I, yeah. Watch I, The Shield. I got it. That's one of the ones I'm going to have to go binge watch. Go on Netflix. binge watch. I've all seen six it before. Seasons. I remember. Yeah. I remember uh, seeing a few of uh, some episodes. I mean, dude, there are dirty cops. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know? Yeah. And that's, I guess, the well, there again is the other problem is. And that's cool. There's dirty people in whatever job you're at, but it's the ones that go along with it and enable it. Like seeing something you're the doing leaders. wrong. Bad leaders. The, the leaders too, but like your peers, you know, turning the other way when you're fucking kicking a dude in the face for no mm -hmm. reason, you know, busting his teeth out, choking his ass till he dies. Like, and then you, you're looking the other way. Then that's. Um, you but know. see, but as a cop, that's what I'm saying is. Look, you have a rank system, yeah. just like at the military. Oh, I get it. Right? So if somebody's doing something wrong, mm -hmm. right, if if I'm uh, a higher rank than you, I'm going to correct you right away. Mm -hmm. Yo, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. But if you see your leader oh, yeah. okay. doing that. I see where you're getting. Yeah. Then I'm like, well, I guess it's all right. You know, yeah. I'm not going to say shit. That's my leader, bro. I'm not, you know. It's like uh, that Which movie. is what happened on the George Floyd incident. Yeah. Exactly what happened. They all that, just watched. Uh, yeah. Well, the guy who did it though was their that was their actual. They, those dudes got he, fucked. You yeah. know why? Oh, because yeah. they had bad leaders. Yeah. Maybe they Two. wanted to. Maybe they joined to be good cops and they yeah. want to serve the community and they wanted to do good, but because of these this fuckface mm -hmm. that did, basically took his job and and was doing you know like trying to be a piece uh, of he, shit. He was you know? belligerent with whatever the, yeah. you know. Huh. And he had a record. Yeah. And yeah. he he not only cost his career, he cost other people's careers and their livelihoods. Because right. uh, those guys, right. two of them were fresh into the force. That was, that yeah, that's what I'm crazy. saying. It's yeah. like that yeah. movie Crash. Have you seen that movie? Crash yeah, for sure. The, oh, remember, Crash is crazy. Uh, Ryan, like uh, Ryan Phillippe's character, remember, yeah, where yeah. He, he, like, he actually goes and complains about something he saw his superior do. Yes. So they ended up demoting him and making it like uh, like like the chief actually was like, oh, what do you you know, you're like, you're what are you ratting on this guy? So he made him do some other. You know, he took him off the street, you know, made him do some low, you know, some other yep. stuff. Like, shit is crazy, so, you know, bro. Stuff like that probably happens, you know. Mad, mad crazy shit going on in the world right now. But, hey, Jeff, I, I want to do say we've had some good convo today. And uh, <laughs> this will air, uh, this, you guys will hear this Thursday morning. Um, it would be August. I don't know what it is. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm fucking whatever day today is to those of you are listening. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm high, maybe I'm not. Uh, uh, no, but hey, uh, Shay, you got anything on your end? Uh, uh, well, I wanted to ask you, um, uh, like, you don't have to name just one, but maybe uh, name me like maybe like three to four to five your favorite movie. Um, uh, I can give you my my top three. Okay, yeah, top, go for starting it. from the bottom: Predator, Terminator. And Back to the Future. Oh, damn! Those are all like some of my hey. favorites. That's crazy. I love okay. hey, that's a, Back to hey, the those Future. Those are some right of now. his yeah, favorites. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's a like three and two are all not similar, but I guess the the style. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's, one, it's a it's a Back to the Future is way different than those ones. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, Back to the Future was the movie that like I I would. I watched as a kid over and over and over yeah. again. I mean, there was a bunch of other ones, but I think that one just like, I don't know what it was. And then Terminator, like, dude, I remember seeing that at the drive-in. Ironically, oh, now yeah. we're going back to the drive-in. Right? Oh, yeah, that, that was the last yeah, movie yeah, yeah. I ever saw on the drive-in drive Terminator 2. Yeah. You know, I was, was at good, the Winneka 20. 
Hey, you know, uh, <laughs> our back in the days, our claim to fame, like when we were in junior high, uh, was that the you know the the scene where he's riding his skateboard in the parking lot. Yeah. Um, that was filmed at at the mall local to where we live, and yeah. I I Point just moved mall. last year. We just moved back to the area where we grew up. Oh, sick! And that mall is literally like a mile or so down the street. The the Burger King that he comes out of, where uh, Doc Brown's is at, uh-huh. is in Burbank. Oh, okay. right, <laughs> right across the street from the Ari. Uh, where where I get the cameras? Oh, oh shit. that's crazy! Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, and then okay, hey. I got another one for you, Jim's Burgers, which I've been going to since junior high and still go to this day. Um, they filmed they 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 had the whole block. Hey, I I, ro- I rolled down the street and I'm like, what the fuck's going on over here? Right? I found out later they did the scene with Leonardo DiCaprio and fuck I Christian think Bale. Christian Bale. That, that new uh, movie, that for, Ford, Ford versus, versus Ferrari, Ferrari, that one that just came. Oh out, yeah, where yeah. they're sitting and it looks like yeah. I think it's like a diner. They ended up, uh, you know, pit, using that spot to film the scene. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Sad. That's that, that we, we still to go, go to that spot the, to this day. They back. have the poster in there now. The poster that's of the pretty movie. Sad. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty. Hey, crazy. but one of the things I would say quick about Back to the Future, I love that movie. Hey, man. Marty McFly was like a hero, but it was like, dude, he was like a small guy. So like, it gave guys like me his hope. Like guys like me, hope. And I was <laughs> like, dude, sick. he's a hero. He fucking, you know, rolled on the McFly. skateboard. He did all the hell, dude. Yeah, he was badass, sick. dude. So yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was a badass. Oh, movie. you didn't want to be. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, dude, real quick, I can't. Like, I wasn't prepared for this, but I wanted to ask you: Do you have any three movies that are your favorite? Because one that, yeah, yeah, we one, that yours. one that pops off top to me though, and I don't have we'll my say three. yours. Like, say, no, we'll I say don't. At least three, four. I don't have my three favorite, Ugh. but one movie that I think like gets swept under the radar that was like pretty deep and powerful to me in its own way was uh, Stand by Me. Oh yeah, dude, oh, yeah, that, that movie was... was like to this day. Oh, and, oh, and here's another one. These are I don't know if these are my favorite, but another movie that tripped me the fuck out was the one with uh, what's his name? I told you about. It's a dark comedy with Steve Carell and um, fuck, oh, uh, Helena Bonham, I think. Seeking a friend for the end of the world. For right? the end of the world. Have oh, you seen I haven't that seen one? That, no. It's Check based that on a book. Out. It's Check. based on a book. There dude, was a book it, it's a dark there. comedy, but the, it's. That movie tripped me the fuck it's out. Like Armageddon's coming, like they all know it's all reported, like the world's gonna actually end. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. this guy's like a lonely guy, and he's just like looking for a girl to like, you know, just the world to end with, basically. But it, it's crazy. It's, it's, a, it's a trippy yeah, movie. Check that good. one out. Bro. All right, I'll check it out. And I'll and I'll check out some that you recommend <laughs> yeah. definitely, because he's actually a director. I'm just, yeah, yeah, I just watch. But yes, th- those two movies, like like. like well, I what said, type of movies do you like? Do you like action, drama, well, comedy? You know, my favorite. Well, I like comedy too, but I think my favorite. Uh, like uh, what you go to? Like. My, my my favorite shit, which they don't make enough of for me, is the old time gangster flicks, like the mm. Al Capone type like shit, like America, uh, like mobsters and shit, American like gangster, that. yeah, that kind of yeah, like yeah. those ones where they showed like because when the gangsters were dressed in suits. And Did you see like Hoffa? That. Mm, that oh, was, it was a series, right? On no, uh, it's a movie. Oh, no, movie no, on Netflix, right? No, I started. It's older. I remember. I need to watch it because that. Okay, that was one where. I must have been too high and tired by the time I put it on. Yeah. And I remember I started it and I fucking knocked out. Oh, the one with Robert De Niro? Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that one. Yeah. I, I thought you I meant there's s- a new version or something I think that I came out. I never saw no, no, no. the whole version oh. of Hobbit. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, they have uh, The Irishman. Oh, the, oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's Which, right. That was I did saw too. that one. That was yeah. like a, what, three-hour fucking, yeah, yeah. three- or four-hour yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. show was dope. <laughs> hey, um, but but how, how about you? What's your favorite genre? Uh, you, well, cause like Terminator and and uh, and uh, what was a uh, Predator? So like yeah. ac- action, action, action. Kind of. mm, you know what? I don't, I don't know. Um, if I had to pick a like, I'd rather watch like a action thriller, uh, oh, yeah. drama. Hmm. You know, like I like films. I like films. So hmm. like something that I can really watch and appreciate. You know, like uh, there will be blood. <laughs> or uh, have you seen that? I haven't seen I that haven't one. I haven't seen that one either, so now I got to check that yeah, one out. I'll blood. check Hoffa. There will be blood. Oh, another one off top. Like, I don't know if it's, again, one of my favorites. I just like the dialogue and all the different um, moods that went up and down, but yeah, yeah. A Few Good Men. Oh, oh yeah. I, that's I liked it. Classic. I, I liked it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Jack Nicholson and Tom Cruise. Like, they got down in that movie, bro. For sure. Yeah. And that and the one I mentioned, Crash, is actually a really dope movie to me. I thought that was a really good, like, okay. powerful Crash movie. Okay, Crash is amazing. Right I do know these ones though. Michael okay. Pena. That's what my. That's what. Yeah. Oh, Michael yeah. Pena. I wish uh, they. I wish they would have gave Michael Pena more roles like that. Uh, hey man, everybody in that cast. He was an end of good. watch, wasn't he? 
was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was a cop in that walk. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Even even Ludacris, I thought was good in that movie. Like like everybody to me hey, did good in that movie. Here, before we go, let's uh, because we're gonna have to tail this off because we can talk to Jeff Echo for like twenty four <laughs> hours. <laughs> hey, but I, I want like off top, I could think of I don't know if it's three or two, but my favorite some of my favorite actors. Can we go there? Because that one I can answer easier. Okay, wait, well, should I answer my favorite movies? The oh, first? yeah, yeah. You didn't answer me. yours. He actually asked me only because yeah, he yeah. asked. Yeah, you didn't not, answer not, yours. Well, like off top right, right away, Star Wars classic. <clears throat> you know, I've always been a big time but Star Wars fan. But is that three to two Damn. or one or Have one you seen to two to three? But actually out of all of them, my favorite one is the second one, Empire Strikes Back. So I just say Star Wars. I like Star Return Wars of the whole, Jedi. Empire Strikes Back to me is the best of all of them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confess something to you. Now you mentioned that? Star Wars, which it's probably an insult. Yeah, but uh, I never grew up with Star Wars. Right? Oh yeah, were my, you a Trekkie? What do you mean? <laughs> it's Trek. People those are, either those like people, Star Wars. There's or always Star people Trek. that either Star Trek or Star Wars. Oh no, people. no, no. no. <laughs> um, so I never saw any of the movies growing up. Oh okay. It wasn't until after because I always pre-army, post post-army. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So yeah. it wasn't until after I got out of the army, my 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 homie's like, "What the fuck? You've never seen Star Wars?" Yeah. He's like, "All right, well, you know what? We're gonna do an experiment." Don't ever watch any of the other movies, but I'm going to show you one. And he showed me Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, that, one. that is the only one. He's like, this is the best one. Watch the best one. Yeah, don't waste is. your time watching the rest. I was like, all right, fuck it. I mean, the only thing that does make it better if you see the one before it to see who these characters are because you already like kind of know them and, yeah. and, and it kind of mo- makes it more emotional because you already kind of like seen what they've gone the through. The return. That's uh, well, the one before Empire Strikes Back, the original, uh, the original Star Wars, the yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it just introduces you and like you see everything they've gone through. And that's what makes it better was What's because, you know, sick. like you see, like, you know, everything. Out. Yeah. Was that number one or three? Uh, Empire Strikes Back was number two. And then, the you know, well, well I mean, the, the episode label is actually. So in your top five, three movies, you got Star Wars and Empire well, Strikes Back? Well, no, Back? I would say Empire Strikes Back. Um, the Goonies has to oh, be oh, in the there. The Goonies, bro. Right. That shit's dope. Um, damn. And, and there's so many other ones that I don't know if I could really say the, the number three. Like, uh, like but, but Back to the Future would be one of them. Uh, weird Science. Um, nice. They're, they're, I got another know, one. Uh, Red Dawn, the original yeah, oh, one. Oh, I fucking yes. loved that movie, bro. That yeah. shit was hard, bro. I literally went. And got, I had all toy machine gun. Do I used to play Red Dawn, bro? Like fuck, that shit was a badass. Hell yeah, Wolverine. Well, I know, <laughs> I know one of his favorite movies now too. Every time I see him watch it, it comes on like cable or something. Is that movie Coach Carter uh, with a uh, oh Samuel oh, L. Jackson? Shit, now yeah, I got yeah. a top yeah. ten. I think <laughs> yeah. Coach Carter <laughs> and the other one. Um, oh, what's the other one? The football one. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. Oh uh, yes, yes. Sports and movies are always good. That's yeah, Denzel. and there, there's another one that I always oh, it, and uh, what is it? School of Rock. Those oh, are the movies yeah. that though was that, good, that on cable when I'm flipping through, I always stop and still watch it. Sick. Uh, yeah, School of Rock. Hey, hey. So actors, before we end this interview, like Jack Nicholson, probably number one. Uh, Sean Penn. Sean Penn is one of my all-time favorite, and I actually believe it or not, I dig Tom Cruise's, like. He's done. Yeah, he went to action later on, and then he was jumping on Oprah's couch, and that threw everybody <laughs> off. But no, but the like his earlier movies, like say like uh, what's the one? Uh, fuck, uh, the one. Eyes his, wide shut. The one where he's one of his first ones, Risky Business. Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the Top other gun. one where he Top played gun. the yeah. Vietnam vet that was in the wheelchair. Oh, uh, born in Fourth of July. See, oh, that, see that, shit. That like good. this yeah. motherfucker can act, dog. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. he just went to the. You know, there's more money. What he's doing now, but and he's like executive producing shit now yeah, too. Yeah. But dude, dude, dude can act. Like, well, and they say sure. that he's still doing his own stunts for like the Mission Impossible movie. Supposedly, I don't know if that's yeah. Dude, I mean, he was like hanging off a plane. Yeah, yeah, stuff like know, that. He's still doing his own fucking stunts. Fucking ballsy. You know? And yeah. he's only like five two. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> shit. No, and there was one more. I can't think of the other actor right now. But go ahead. You have any actors? Uh, well, I, like right when you said that, I, I think of Tom Hanks. I mean, I think I mean, <laughs> that like I can do anything I, for like, sure. To me, like it seems like um, other. You know what? Like what's crazy? You, like he wasn't a great actor. But for some reason, every single movie he's done, I liked uh, Bruce Willis. Oh yeah, every movie he's in, I liked. like. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know, I think he's good. Like you know, and, and those are the ones I could think of off top, though. You know, like. Let's how see. about you? Um. Today, I would say. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Oh yeah, man. Um, that fucking guy, dude. He he goes all into his roles, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. I like Jim Carrey, you know, not only as a so comedic, do I, dude. not only as a comedic actor, but yes, I like I his do serious too. stuff. He yeah. doesn't get enough credit for that, but uh, yeah, Jim Carrey, 
Um, Jack Nicholson for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck, who else? Uh, I know there was one more that uh, I just I can't think of his name right now. Uh, Marijuana. Fuck, next to me, memory. Sean Penn is hard as fuck. Oh, uh, he's dope. Uh, McConaughey. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good too. Because that dude can do anything, dude. Oh, oh well, before I forget, one more. I, I thought of the third movie, what, Revenge of the Nerds. Classic. Oh, sick, man. <laughs> Super. Hey, right here. He's a laugh right here. <laughs> hey, we've got Bush. We've, we've got, got Bush. Bush. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but anyways, man, I, I want to thank you again. Oh, Shay, do you got your... Uh, Oh, oh uh, are we going to do the uh, non-fake news? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's just some segment we do. This is funny. You know, like uh, uh, they, they say, oh, it's fake news or whatever. But there's a couple of things happening in the news that uh, they seem fake, but they actually really happen. Like, uh, did you guys hear about that? Um, it was a soccer player. They were, they were playing soccer. Right? And, like, um, they're just practicing empty fields, of course, because everything's empty. He actually got struck by lightning. Oh yeah, I saw that. He got that. caught on camera. Like I saw it actually that. Yeah, hit, yeah. Like it's crazy. As soon as he hits the ball, he gets hit. You get a hey, man. I didn't he see that. But he's, he's playing. He's what practicing now. Fuck, yeah, man. but it, it's crazy. Like, cause you imagine, like, this is stuff you see in the movie. Like, I wonder if he's gonna have superpowers after this. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, he's like a lightning man. <laughs> or, 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 something or did he like get that. a did, powder? Did, did he get uh, a tan? Have you seen that movie Powder? Hey, they used to you call. I never actually watched that movie. They used to movie. call my brother oh, Powder. Yeah, and I got mad. I was like, "No, nah, come on, I'm not that white. Come on." They used to call uh, Shay yeah, so White Powder. Yeah, so yeah, bro. Before yeah, they came that's up, that's a dope movie that. too. Watch yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I, I did see that one. I remember. Yeah. Uh, and, and there was another one. Um, another thing that was happening in Florida, which is you know, you, you never know what's going to happen in Florida, but uh, somebody oh. went to the. You know, because you know how they're just letting everybody do whatever. Like over there, they're kind of not really worrying about the distancing. It doesn't seem over there. Is that their mayor? Uh, fucking guys. I, I forgot his, his not name. Not the most Dubai IQ points. The fucking what, mayor but, or whatever. Yeah, but on the beach, I guess somebody went to the beach uh, dressed as the Grim Reaper, like to to try to warn everybody about the coronavirus. So, but like, imagine that. Like, dude, half everybody there is like probably on acid all like anyway. So imagine they see that. Like, they, they, I'm pretty sure it would work. They right? ran and jumped yeah. in the ocean. <laughs> 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 is that the last one? Uh, oh, there was one more. A uh, uh, woman ate her engagement ring uh, in her sleep. Like uh, she was dreaming about it, and then she she actually did it. She woke up and she ate her engagement ring. Did I don't know. I don't know if that's a sign or. What. Did she chew her finger too? Was it on her? Like when she did that? Yeah, it, it wasn't really too much detail about it, but yeah, it uh, happened. I think she was dreaming about something else, and she was sucking on her own finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. <laughs> But that's not a good sign, huh? Yeah. If you're the guy that gave her that ring. Yeah, like, uh, what were you doing t- with <laughs> your <laughs> finger, <laughs> bitch? You got me now. You don't need that finger no more. Yeah. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, man uh, thank you again, Jeff, for coming course, through, man. You, um, any shout-outs or anything we should check out that's coming soon or, you know, people could stay tuned? Yeah, man, if, just uh, go to uh, my Instagram, Echoes World, E-C-H-O-S-W-R-L-D. Check out my Twitter, my YouTube. Those are the only three platforms that I'm on. Echoes World, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. I got all my work on there. Anything that, that I put out is oh, on so there. So. Uh, check out Hello Black Mexican. That's the show that we're working on right now. It's an animated series. Dope. When is yeah. that coming out? Uh, it's been coming. comes out every Tuesday. Oh, okay. So, oh, I'm going to go check that out. Hello yeah, yeah. Hey. Hello Black Mexican. Uh, I got to check that. Produced by LV Visions uh-huh. and Ikrama Marche. That's oh, okay. Dope. Yeah, LV Visions, yeah. I think... I, I think I know. I think I follow LB Visions. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yeah. that's my boy. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Huh? Yeah, super talented, bro. Yeah, Jeff, check, check him yeah, out. Yeah. And uh, watch movies. They tell you the future. Jeff oh, Echo yeah. stays working. Hey, speaking of that, is that, man, is it the, what is it, the Simpsons? Uh, fucking, it hits it like fucking 20 We're years ago. almost ag- at 30 seasons, huh? No, they? but I mean, is it them? Is it the Simpsons I'm thinking of that, like. Yeah, predicted pr- the future. Yeah, yeah. bro. Like, oh, a lot of episodes. They even yeah. had, like. Trump, fucking orange dude. Yeah, it's crazy because on Disney Plus they have the Simpsons on there, right? So they um and they have them like these different collections of different types of episodes, like sports or different ones. And there's one, uh, it's a collection of the predictions, so you can go and see all the Simpsons episodes that like talked about things that ended up kind That's of like, almost they, coming. Like, they predicted a bunch of yeah, shit. Yeah, it's dog. crazy. I, I, I watch I, that sometimes. I'm like, oh, I shit. Go, damn. <laughs> I want to. Who's back there, bro? Like, you yeah, got the yeah, inside crazy. scoop on something, man. How do you yeah. know that shit? Anyways, man, thank you again, bro. No, Jeff Echo, you, 
This is the second episode of the Rabbit Season podcast, and I'd like to thank Jeff Echo for coming through, chopping it up with us, keeping it open. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week again. Um, thank you guys that do tune in. We appreciate you guys. Shout out to my uh, producer and co-host Shay Whitey as well right. for putting in that work, and DJ Clips for uh, co-producing with us, man. Hey, Kevin just stopped by too. Hooligan snapped a couple shots and bounced, Doug. I, he did? I didn't even see He him. dropped in on a helicopter with a camera, Doug. Oh, I don't man. know what's going on. Hey, but thank you guys again, man. We'll see you next week, man. B-Side Show, Rabbit Season, all that. Tune in, man. Make sure you guys check us out. Peace. Peace.